A new interpretation of Darwin's theory on survival says cooperation is an incredibly successful survival strategy. Well, it seems that this is the formula Angostura Holdings Limited, Rituals Coffee House, and the Trinidad and Tobago Fine Cocoa Company have applied to boost business while successfully navigating the pitfalls of the COVID-19 pandemic. Rituals Marketing Manager Melina Suri said a company was happy with the partnerships they have made to date, but was looking to form additional local joint ventures. Um, we, this is a continued partnership with Angus Tura and Trinidad and Tobago Fine Cocoa Company as well. Um, so we do have other local suppliers that we are looking at at the moment. However, that may not be launched until next year, January into March of next year. Ms. Suri was enthused that an international player like Angostura was interested in a collaboration with Rituals and recalled the process that led to the link-up. Both companies came to our office and we did the sampling in August. By September, um, we had already listed the chocolates in our stores and now we are enjoying the Angostura beverages which we recently launched two weeks ago. While describing the Caribbeanness of the Rituals brand, the company's marketing manager said, part of the objective for the partnership was to support the local cocoa industry. Both companies use the Trinitario Cocoa. And I'd just like to take a moment to explain Trinitario Cocoa to the viewers who may not understand what the Trinitario Cocoa is. And so there are three types of cocoa beans. You have the forest hero, and you have the Coquelo, right? So the Trinitario is a mixture of both and it gives a more flavorful taste profile. Um, the Trinitario cocoa was also grown in the Trinidad in the early 1700s. Faced with regulated or no in-house dining, closed borders, and less customers, as many choose to remain at home as the COVID-19 pandemic looms, survival has become not necessarily of the fittest, but for those who can find new and innovative partnerships to remain viable in a shrinking market. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.